It's amazing, you know, just the first class and a lot of those people in the first class were people that didn't have the experience going through the training that we've done in the past. So uh, just probably gathering knowledge from all of you, uh, it's amazing how much they've already learned in a very short period of time and how simple it is compared to when I first came to talk about apparel and the blank looks I had on everybody's <laughs> face. All the, Screw that! I'm leaving here and going selling a mug. I'm not going to go sell any of this apparel stuff because it's a pain in the neck. Um, it's funny when I prepare. I like to talk about something, you know, and how it how apparel relates. And, and I was thinking about a balance between apparel and everything else that we sell because apparel is in our industry 35 percent of what we sell. To make great great strides as a business, going from 3% to 10% of our sales. But the really disappointing number is that only 10% of our customers sell apparel. That's like crazy, because I'm going to be ultra conservative, and I'm going to say that 75% of your customers use apparel somewhere high, and we only sell 75%. I mean, we only sell 10% of our customer base. So we're doing a great job. But it also says to me, if we're only selling 10% of our customer base, which 10% of our sales has come from, they're bigger orders. We're selling some nice orders. We have guys every once in a while I look and I'm like, wow, it's some great apparel business. Some great apparel orders. Um, so I was thinking more about everything in general because I want to don't get a chance to really talk to everybody like this and from a sales perspective anyways. I know marketing was here, so sorry. This was more sales driven than marketing driven. but. Um, I want you to, and I've said it before, but I really want you to believe this, that this is your own business. That every single one of you have your own business and your own brand. Especially when you've established the customer base, which most of you have already had the luxury of establishing a customer base. And in establishing that customer base, they're your customers. They're your brand. Sheila and her team does a great job of trying to attract them here and get them to come back and you know all of that but they're here for you they're not here they're not that e-promos is great we do a great job and we got a great team that's why they're here but they're here for you when you've got more than 50 percent of your customers is retaining business they're here they're here for you so I was thinking about like your business and a balance between apparel and balance between other products and then I started to think about like a work balance and a, and, a, uh, and a life balance. You know, how does that work in a place like this? And to me, you know, after going through everything that I've gone through, most of you know over the last few years, I, I look at it really different. I'm really happy and proud that I've been in this industry for as long as I've had. The jobs that you guys have, if they call them jobs, they're really not jobs, it's your business. Your personal businesses are so great because I've watched people that are, I've started to have this conversation here a few years ago, my other people 20 years ago, and see where people that I had these conversations with 20 years ago, where 25 years ago, where they are today, how successful they are, and how, like, uh, none of us came here to get into this business that said, I'm going to school, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that so I can get into promotional products. Not, not one of us came from, uh, maybe, I don't know, not, it's not here, maybe some people in our industry's parents were in it or something. But all of us came from other reasons and how lucky we are to fall into this industry because it is a great job. You know, five, 10, 15, 20 years from now, you all may decide that, you know what, this is, pretty shitty weather to live in. And uh, it's actually improved dramatically since this morning, but this is really pretty bad weather to live in, and I want to go live somewhere warm, or, or I want to go somewhere else uh, to live. You can take your job, your, your business, with you. So I'm going to talk to you about work balance life. You know, I, this is another you know, the grass is always greener. I love that saying. Somebody said it to me a long time ago and said, you know, Steve, the grass is always greener. I'm like, I'm done with this. I'm going to do something different. I'm done. The grass is always greener on the other side. 
This place is perfect. Not just the promos, our industry, but e promos is great too. So for a place to create this unique work balance life, work life balance. And it's so important to have a great work ba work life balance that, you know, when, when you say balance, you think of bad things because you have to balance the good with the bad. But I think this is a really unique opportunity and a unique place where it's really, there's not really the bad with it. It should all be good other than some of our wacky customers and every once in a while maybe Rob and Sid, you know, <laughs> some other things in here. But it's really a pretty, pretty unique place. So it's like, I think of a healthy balance for me personally, if I eat something really bad, I got to go work out. Well, got to go work out because I'm trying to balance it. So if I have to work really hard, I'm going to go home and balance that out by great home life. I think it's a great place to work. It should be an even keeled thing all day long. You should be able to come in here, be happy, go home, be happy. Don't slap the kids around or anything like that. Um, but it, you know, it's really, it's really uh, a really neat place. Um, successful people, and, and this is such an easy opportunity, such an easy place to be successful. Successful people have that blend of good work, good home, and both are so important to me. I mean, um, especially what I've been through, I realize it even more now, so that's probably why I'm a little more um, talking about this, but, um, you know, you, you end up with a bad balance being busy. And, you know, it isn't busy. It's your business. You know, at the end of the day, you're here to, to it's your business. Um, so, you know, I want everybody to focus on and this, to me, is one of the reasons I said it. My focus and my passion and the reason I'm still in the business was I love the parallel. And I'm not saying that everybody here is going to have that same, because I watch people at all different levels of apparel skills and apparel ability. Find something that you're passionate about here and, and translate that to your customer, translate that to home. You know, focus on finding passion in, in, in everything that you do. It, passion and confidence in selling apparel makes all the difference in the world. I'm passionate about this stuff. Even though it's just a t-shirt or just a polo shirt, and I used to sell fancy clothes and everything, and I'm passionate about making my customer look good. I'm passionate about the new stuff that comes out. This is the greatest thing that's happened in this business is new stuff's coming out all the time. It's so great, and I'll emphasize some of the things I think that have changed in there. And it's just since I've done it a year and a half ago, whenever we did the last time I sat in front of you and did apparel stuff. Um, you know, you, you got to find that passion, and it, that includes your work. A big thing in our business, limit your time you waste. Limit wasting time and wasteful people. There's lots of wasteful people, there's lots of wasteful time, there's lots of wasteful customers. There was just an article in the industry publication about firing your customer. I've been saying fire your customer forever. <clears throat> if that customer... It's your business. You know, tell Sid you're going to fire him. But, because I'm going to miss somebody who wants that. <laughs> <laughs> but, but fire that customer. Make them work for you, not you're working for them. You're making them look good. You're, you're, you know, you, you're way, your time's way too valuable. You know, identify what's important in business, what's important in life for yourself. Set priorities. Set a priority. You know, you, every week you should have a priority. Set a priority. Maybe it's to sell more t-shirts this week. Maybe it's to, you know, the next thing that comes out on the marketing push. Uh, uh, take advantage of the big pens at these phenomenal price, prices. And how does that work with your customer? How do you build your business? How do you take the tools that this company offers you? Marketing tools, merchandising tools, sales tools. And, make your business better because that's what we're here to do because at the end of the day 
that's all we can do is give you those tools and help you get there. It's your business. It really is your business. I know I, I said it in the beginning when I first came here and I can't emphasize it enough. Make your business, make your business work for you. You know, it's like if you were, um, if you owned a convenience store and um, your buddies, you know, this is why I was saying peep wasteful people. Your buddies uh, came and hung out and drank your beer all afternoon, hung out in the store, and didn't, you know, you couldn't work, you couldn't make it look good, you couldn't make your customers feel great. Um, you know, you're wasting your time, you're wasting your business, you're making an investment here, you're making an investment in your life, your family's life. It's your business make that good investment in here. You know, track your time. It's an amazing thing. It's like, I raise my hand guilty, you know, like I'm checking out my daughter's Facebook page because she just did prom, you know, and, and it's like, I could have done that at night, you know, track your time, what are you wasting time on? It's amazing what you'll find out how much time you waste during the day, all of us, and still, you know, respect your, respect your private time, you know, that's really important, really important. Ask for support. One of the amazing things about this place and this industry in general is like everybody wants to support everybody else. It's so weird. I think people that are successful in this business want to help other people. But that's what you do for your job every day. You really help your customer look good. So, but the same internal, you know, ask for support internally. You've got great people here. I really emphasize that with the other group because it, you know, you know, call them this group here, call them people that have been doing this for a while. Um, find a mentor. I think it's super important. It was one of the best things I ever did. I don't even, I don't think I knew what I was finding. I didn't know it was like a mentor, but I found somebody that actually mentored me and wasn't technically a mentor in, in my mind. I didn't look for him, but you know, find a mentor. Uh, one of the most important lessons in our business and in life is learning how to say no. You know, you gotta learn how to say no. It's not it's not easy to do. And balance is beautiful. So it is. balance balance is beautiful. Um, life shouldn't be an act of simply balancing positives and negative activities. Discover passion in everything that you do, and you'll never think about balancing work and life again. Just think about that. It's like Balancing passion in everything you do. If this isn't your passion and it isn't fun and it isn't great, go do the job. <laughs> so I don't want anybody to leave, but have come to work with passion. You know, take your passion, have, be passionate at what you do home. I'm very fortunate to be here today. I, you know, the, I didn't take appreciate some things in my life and take care of myself like I should have um, be you got you got one life to live you got one family to live you got one place to work make it all beautiful and balanced and and enjoy it because uh, I think it's so important so I'll get off my soapbox now and then try to sell some apparel it's amazing where we are with apparel today. And, and, and now, I think when I first started to try to sell everybody here apparel, I looked at it and um, and tried to jam everything down <laughs> just everybody's throat. They don't know anything. I'm going to tell them everything. I got way too in the weeds, probably. A lot of you picked it up. Most of you picked up, you know, maybe I gave a jump stop, and most of you picked it up on your own. So, so proud to walk through the building and listen to people talk about talk about apparel, talk about business here in general. It's just uh, amazing in the short period of time where everybody's come. Um, but in particular with apparel, because I, I think it is more difficult to sell initially. Uh, again, the marketing team's done a phenomenal job of making it a lot easier than we used to sell. You know, and I, I think the industry is changing in that way too. So, and, and being ahead of the industry curve, but and then now keeping up with some of the other things that the industry is doing, um, the marketing groups right on top of that, merchandising group right on top of that. Um, 
So I'm going to start. I'm going to try to categorize this stuff and make it really simple. T-shirts, there's basically three, four T-shirts that you need to know. You need to know best value T-shirt, 5.3 ounce, lowest price T-shirt available, 60% of our customers, it's the right shirt. Industry, or the retail world is going lighter and lighter, not heavier and heavier. Um, we make it really easy, well they make it really easy with the B, B promos best value. And they're working on, within the next couple of weeks, something that's to me is very exciting, even simplifying the process further, if you'd like to speak yeah, to that. We're gonna, um, <coughs> so right now you have the Bless best value t-shirt, we have the colors, the heathers, and the whites. And we, we replace, price it every single week, Sherry and Lisa, make sure we have the best price of every, because all the mills reprice every week on cotton. But we get the new prices every week, reprice it, and try to make sure that everything is coordinated in our marketing. Um, it's going to make our lives easier and your lives easier and give you guys some more margin. So we are negotiating with HIT right now to just have them own that whole program. Um, they formed a partnership with Bodic and Rhodes. So it's the same deal that 5000 has been selling all day long, the exact same product. Um, it's just that we're going to be able to do it through HIT. Um, and again, we're still negotiating. We have a couple of sticking points we're trying to work through. But it'll just simplify everybody's life. And like I said, you'll get a little bit more margin and or we might be able to drop the price even further. So um, I had a question in the last group about Jetline. Jetline is offering t-shirts too. It's great. Um, marketing just put out a flyer on that for you to use. But it's really, Jetline can't compete on the price. Jetline does a great job with quick turn and they do a great job with really low minimums. But their pricing is not nearly as good as Kit or, or going directly to the mills that we have been. So certainly use Jetline, use that sell sheet when you have an opportunity to get somebody into apparel or with a really small quantity or you have a rush situation with a valued customer. But you'll want to use this regular program for, for everything else. So as soon as we have that locked down, we'll let you guys know. You shouldn't really see anything different. It's going to be mostly happening in the background. But right. It's going to go down to 36 pieces. It's going to be quick in turn. It's hit. You guys work hit, hit all the time. It's so the same customer service people. Even easier than sending it through Rockland, so, right? So you just send it to hit. It's just, just just the basic, just the the best value t-shirt. The you know, we're working on a configurator which is basically it allows you to design the product, your customer to design the product online or you know you to do it with them. But but um, Custom Inc. does $250 million worth of t-shirts a year. And they're 30% higher than we are. There's no reason. We have the same customer base. The only difference is they do a lot more consumer, which really isn't our business, and I don't necessarily want to be doing, you know, uh, Sid's picnic. But, you know, with it, everything else, we are, we are less expensive. We're, we, you own your relationships. Sell them more of this T-shirt. It's a dollar and change T-shirt with a dollar and a quarter, even less as you get a quantity print on it. This is the best way for your customer to have their name on a logo or on something. So, four T-shirts. One, best value is going to be 5.3, 5.4, I think it's 5.4. Is that the deal? 5.4 ounce simple, best priced in the business. The other shirt, which is relevant still in more in very specific marketplaces, is the 6.1 ounce heavier weight t-shirt. I, I, I miss Ron, Ron's not here, but I'm, so I'm gonna bust him and I bust him to his face. When I first got here, Ron told me that the t-shirt 5.3 or 6.1 equal the weight of the slaves. So, <laughs> you know, I'm a flap on Ron, but this and it's obviously it's the weight of the fabric. He's close enough, he had some part of the, it's just the weight of the fabric. You don't have to know any. You don't have to know anything. Though. Like, I think when I went through this, I was talking about all the double needle stitching and all. It was you your fault. You confused him. You don't have to. It was before I did the apparel. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have well, to. Well, so you didn't train him. <laughs> just kidding. We spent too much time together. You um, you don't have to um, you don't have to deal with any of that stuff. It's just you know somebody's looking for a fashion or the more modern day neck, the smaller neck is in. 
but this is their construction workers wanted, you know, trucking companies, it, just the guys that are more manly. It's harder. There's, it's more expensive. There's no reason you wouldn't pick that shirt over this one all every day, especially once you start wearing the third shirt that you need to know, and that's the 4.3 to 4.5 ounce shirt. What's really great about this is when we talked about it before and when we first started in the industry, it was the American Apparel shirt, which never fit anybody. It, um, it was very expensive. And even when I talked about this lightweight where retail is gone, you know, any retail brand shirt now, even if you sports team stuff you see most of the time, it's printed on this 4.3 ounce. It's, uh, those are 18 singles, these are 30 singles, much finer face, much softer hand, prints better, all the reasons in the world, once you wear this, you can't go back to a heavy shirt. It's just, every, the heavier ones just seem so hot on you. The crazy thing was this was still 350 when I was talking about it a year and a half ago. It's down to 207 now and um, and 185 in whites. So super competitive, better fit, a little bigger and safer fit for our industry as opposed to pure retail young men's and juniors fit on the women's. And that is brand new skew, you guys from San Mar. It's called the very important tea. So I think. Sherry just got it up. Yeah. And the other great thing, it would be like five colors before. And now it comes in. Oh, I get the V. It, now it, it comes in 25, 30 colors. Like seven, eight great heathers. The heathers are so hot right now. But it comes in so many great colors now. And it's it's a two dollar T. In, in color. You guys don't need to feel those others, do you? Pass the, this is the uh, V-neck version, the same T-shirt, but in a V-neck, same fabrication. So that's T-shirt number three. That's, that's it. Fourth T-shirt you need to know, and it's the same kind of thing that's happened. This has really exploded. Is performance wear T-shirts. They now come in 30 colors as well. Uh, we have $3.37, a little more expensive. You know, any kind of outdoor running event, tra you know, 5K or something like that. Um, they print on, they uh, transfer on them now that looks just like print. Usually two, one or two colors. The colors are more vibrant. I just want to add one thing on this. As some of the things that, so merchandising is in the process of adding tons of new SKUs, like literally this entire rack to the website right now. So when you see things on the website, most of this is all out there. It's just that the images are all, are not all like we want them to be yet. In fact, like in this t-shirt, for example, I have it up here right now. You can see the only color we're showing down here is a single purple. Normally we'd have all 36 colors shown there. We will get that all done. It's just not all there yet, but most SKUs are up. Just know that we're adding a few suppliers into the mix now that they've always been available to you, but we haven't had them on the website. So like Vantage and Cutter and Buck Cutter and Buck have been on the site. But some of these suppliers, they do in-house decorations, or you can send it out to a decorator. It's your call. But most of the time when we have Vantage or we have Cutter and Buck, it'll be priced with decoration in the comment, as opposed to like a Sandmar item or whatnot. We'll you know, will not be So this is Click. This comes decorated from directly from Cutter and Buck. Click is the promotional brand within the Cutter and Buck brand. And they also come with a texture on them. I think we did this in the 365 poll of last year. I mean, that t-shirt. So those are heat transfer from Cutter and Buck. Or, you know, obviously the other nice thing is you can do fun things on it, like camo. Uh, we have done business with them. We've never had them on the website. I thought we talked about because I used to, they did our entire program. Vantage will do one piece for you now, by the way. 
So if you have any kind of program where people need to just get one piece at a time, they can do that. Not that you really want to sell a lot of one piece orders, but the flexibility for a certain customer to do that is there. Learn the apparel. You, you know, you've got the sales summit coming up. When these people are here, you know, we go out the nights at night with them, pick their brains. Use the customer service people. So important, you know. Use the person, the people that are at Rockland. I mean, uh, what's the girl's name there? Annie and Jason. Annie, Jane. That's just perfect. That's huge. Let them tell you everything. You don't. You can't learn it all. So that's why I really wanted to make this simple. It's four T-shirts you need to know. The other thing is this: these racks are going to be set up like this. Core assortment is like. Every day core, you got to sell probably 50% of what you sell is going to come plus is going to come out of here. Over here we have other things. I know last time I was trying to sell them like, you know, Tambella tanks and canvas t-shirts. Uh, this is a cool looking, interesting t-shirt. Explore the rack. I mean, this has got little pieces of flex of metallic in it. I'm just going to put a plug in for two things. The sales, first of all, sales summit yeah, this different. year. It's a totally different thing than what we've done in the past. In the past, we focused on the elite suppliers. This year, we're focusing on specialized suppliers because just like with apparel, we need to like demystify certain categories, not only for you guys, but for the customer. Yes. And so it's kind of the same thing of selling apparel, right? Like, yeah, there are, there are 500 different t-shirts you could sell a customer, and they can go on our website or Google something, and they can come up with like 20 choices of calling say, Brian. Heathers are huge. All different colors in heathers. You know, they're all different grays and blues and just different colors. Look at them all now. You, it's amazing how many colors you can do in t-shirts. Like, you know, if somebody's done blue and that's their navy and they've always done, suggest a navy heather. You know, this year it's like navy, heather's in, so in. I love this deep, rich, instead of black, you know, this is cool. So there'll be this rack with fancier stuff that we think is important for you to look at, and, and it's not necessarily core. The core is there. Know the core. Know it inside out. Know the know the four T-shirts that you need to sell. I've got a quick question. Would it be helpful to you guys to um, you can't see it on the screen right now, but basically as we go through this process of merchandising, we select by subcategory the products that are going to be added to the website and then we narrowed that down, Steve and I narrowed it down to the core products. Would it be helpful to have a cheat sheet on what we think is core with the SKUs and the links to the site or is that like not necessary? Helpful? Okay. All right. We'll get that put together. <laughs> Bert made a good comment in the last meeting too. He was talking about how he has a lot of customers calling for like American Apparel but they're in a shock by the sticker. And so that very important tea really fills that point. 207 in colors. Mm -hmm. It's a great t shirt <laughs> for the price. And, you know, it looks like it fits. The one, the, the one thing, I know we did some of uh, our own uh, non negotiable teas, and I know the women's in particular didn't fit very well because it's that it was next level. I think it wasn't, no, it was uh, whatever it was. Some of them are fit. This is more conservative fit industry. The women's is a little more confident, but the more conservative fit. Know your fits, understand them. You know, most of what I showed you is safe and fairly boxy. The industry in general tries to be that way because it has to, just because it has to sell such a, you sell one customer base, you can sell broad. I mean, shoot, a lot of our stuff goes to 7X. 7X is a pretty big boy. Um, we also have uh, pigment dyes. They're still selling. We sell one, one in the core that's uh, 50 colors. So if somebody wants that, go to the beach look. It's just not what it used to be, but it was big in the resort business. That's what I had my resort store. All right, any questions about polos? I mean, uh, t-shirts? Nothing? You guys know this inside now. So there's the core. Know it. All right. So you know it's funny because even a couple of years ago it wasn't as consistent across 
categories, but I think when I show you the wovens and show you the knits and, and I'm show you the knits now, but I'll show you the wovens too. The same thing holds true in everything that we're doing. Fleece, sweatshirts, Polly's made a big comeback and, and, and is, I mean, a big statement and a big push into it for various reasons. Same reasons in, in this. Um, in the t-shirts you'd use cotton versus poly. Polo is a little different. Cotton is actually making somewhat of a comeback in this. And I think the main reason is being is that some people just aren't as comfortable in the polyester shirts. Not from a comfort meaning keeps you cool, keeps you dry, which is what it does. It's just a little more clingy and shows a little bit more parts of your body you don't want to show, I guess. <laughs> like, you know, a little roll here or there or something. So, um, it, like, if I'm golfing, I, I would never play in a polo shirt. But if I'm going to, a, I mean, a cotton shirt. If I was uh, going to a trade show, you know, maybe today I'd want a cotton polo shirt. And we've broken it out into, uh, whoops, into basically good, better, best in the polos. Forever, in 36 colors, the K500 for the last six or seven years has been the go-to price point basic cotton blended shirt. And what are the pluses and minuses of cotton? Um, the pluses are more of a natural look and natural fabric, fiber. Um, it does shrink a little more than polyester will not shrink. It will shrink 5% up, 3% in, it's pretty safe to say. It will lose color, so if you have lots of people washing it um, for a, a <coughs> restaurant or places like that, you'll end up with, Jake's will probably look better than mine because I don't wash it more aggressively and Sheila doesn't wash it, so she will look brand new. So it looks <laughs> bright blue when Sheila's got it and Jake washes it probably more than I would wash, so it'd be faded blue and might be somewhere in the middle. So it will change color to that respect. So that's some people look at it as positive. If you go into a trade show or some kind of an event, uh, a lot of times the, the natural fabric, you're only going to really wear it that one time or you know that one weekend or whatever, they're okay with not having to worry about colors, fastness. It's just, Ralph Lauren still sells millions and millions of this basic piquet, Tommy Hilfiger, all those guys um, still tell it. It's, uh, that's the K500, it's what, uh, 749, pretty inexpensive, here's the woman's version. I'm told every time I talk about the woman's version, women hate polo, but sometimes they don't have a choice when they go to a trade show or something. Just to make sure I said this last week too, you know I can't not say it. If you have somebody calling, a lot of people don't realize that they can get a women's polo if they don't see it because the companion you can link to it. But make sure you suggest it because A, you'll sell more, but B, the customer will be way happier because their women will be complaining that they have to wear a man's shirt. Because we have a companion on almost every street. I like this for the middle level shirt. It's the K800s. Um, comes in a dozen colors. Uh, I like the buttons on it. You know, they're just a nice, fairly rich white button. Um, you know, it's a lot. It's a lot more money if somebody's not trying to hit a price point. It's 11.99 net. I'm sorry. The difference between the two is it's a higher cotton content. It's spring spun, so it's a softer feel. Um, but the, the difference in the sleeve, what's more popular, the non-banded or the band? It depends. You get both. So this is, I'm going to show you the best. This is this is called the Perfect T. It's men, perfect men's, perfect women's. It is as ripped off as I've ever seen the Ralph Lauren, you know, $70 T. The fabric's really nice. It's a beautiful ring spun um, cotton. It's got the same cup as the Ralph Lauren. In golf, this is pretty much out the cuff and cuff ones. The more the open sleeves are in, but in fashion or more in street style, 
the cuff is just as popular, and it becomes more. It's like two buttons, placket versus three button. It's personal preference, but this really, this is like this is called the sewn on placket. You'll only find that in really expensive polo shirts where they actually take this placket and sew it on. Let me steal this one to show you the difference cool between. Which on that one too? We got it down to six pieces. See the. So if you need. How nice that looks and finished polo. versus just sewn on. Yeah. So the placket is sewn on. <laughs> but is that part of thirty advantage? Yeah. It's funny because you know you just pick up and, and, and last time I focused on a lot of buzzwords like placket because they're really placket. What's placket? I don't even think about talking about placket. Not everybody here knows what a placket is. But it, just look at the little detail on the inside. I think it's a great polo shirt. It really is for the. $13.99, so somebody that's looking for more, a little more of a retail feel. My guess is you'll all be receiving one, I'd wear it. I mean, that's scary. I mean, there's not a lot of promotional products that I actually say I would wear, but I would wear that. I, I, I like that polo shirt. It's more retail feel. Sheila, you said the color, like, roll? It will roll a little, but not bad. Like, you know, that's the problem with these. You know, that's not going to roll as much as this. The only way you can do get away from it is jacquard it and or do self fabric which you find in a lot of the polos I think in the poly I'll show you more self fabric ones jacquarding actually costs a buck cost them a buck and a quarter but they never put it on that's all it costs but they never put it on there um, but you know even Nike doesn't jacquard their collars um, you know you, you can have a $35 net Nike polo or Adidas polo, and they're not going to jacquard the collar. Um, so, but that's a better collar. It's a tighter knit, knit and you feel, see how it feels like that is? It's really, it's a fair, in their mind, it's a fair, when you would think about they sell the garment for uh, seven fifty to add a dollar worth of cost overseas. It's too expensive. So that gives you the good, better, best in the cotton. So same thing, polyester. You know, every poly. I was one, I was a late adapter to the poly. I was like, you know, give me the double mercerized uh, Egyptian or Italian cotton polos that were. I'd still sweat in them, have sweat marks all over me when I played, and then I look at my friends, and none of them had sweat on them. It'd be 90 degrees out. And my shirt would still be soaked an hour and a half later in the in the grill and they'd be fine. Um, polyester, especially the polys they're making today, just have this great comfort wicking factor, you know, so if somebody's doing a, there are sports guys, they're coaches, they're outdoor golf events, they're, they're worried about color fastness, so they want bright, vibrant colors. Those are all good reasons to go to polyester versus the cotton. And as you'll see, there's so many choices in polyesters today. They're really basically taken over the industry, um, even in the high-end golf. <clears throat> but the one thing that's interesting, like Travis Matthews and some of the higher-end golfers, golf companies now, you actually see them trying to go back to blends that are have cotton and have more of a natural look, kind of like this polo here for that reason. Um, this is a poly spandex, but it really does look like a cotton. It almost a little duller looking, a little more natural fabric feeling. It's only ten bucks too, nine ninety nine. That collar won't roll. So, but that looks so wrinkled. And it's just well, <laughs> it's a nine dollar polo <laughs> shirt. Sure. Um, Dyed to match buttons, so a lot more of that you can do. A lot more of that. The polo shirts that I picked out really for the uh, price point, which I thought at this point, I thought I was pretty happy with this for uh, $6.99. You know, last time I really pushed that core 365, which I still am a big proponent of, and I think everybody that sold it, and Scott's, you know, is like probably my best disciple. He even run around, Steve, I sold another one. I just send them that core 365 and they love it. And it, it really performs well, so I'm not going to not sell that. This has a little different surface texture to it. It's $6.99 and the Core 365 is $7.19 now. Um, 
I just think it's a nice shirt. It's light enough. It's moisture working. I don't think it's as clingy as you find a lot of these will be. So is that the K five This is yeah. the K five seven two. So when you guys get that core sheet, it's going to be the three sixty five plus the, that one. So I like that as a core, and then I still, I think this is a great polisher. This is the core 365. Um, I don't know, how many colors does that one come in? That one's the edge, not the 365. 11 colors, yeah. What's that? That's, no, this oh, is this is, oh, sorry, I have to check the track. So, so this is, um, this is a great shirt. It just performs well. It's you think about both these shirts, they're around seven bucks plus the embroidery. So for fifteen bucks, you get your customer in a great shirt. It's going to last. It's going to keep the collar. It's going to feel good when they golf up or they're out in an outside event because it's light enough and airy enough. Between them, Custom Inc., all these other guys, they're selling the heck out of it. You, they don't even have salespeople like you. They don't have personalities behind the brand, and they still get thirty percent more. So the one thing, anybody here that's not selling at a margin that we are happy with, which some of you I know are at, the top people in the company are selling at plenty of margin. There's no reason to give this stuff away. Even at a 42, 45, whatever the margin is, we still blow land. Whatever they did, whatever you said they did, <laughs> away. We blow away. We blow away custom ink. We, we just... We have so much value, and, and with you and your knowledge and your confidence and selling confident, you every day, you know, every day you're going to outsell these guys. Um, so I picked a couple others too. Uh, this this one I actually really like too. This is a uh, landmark, which is the Trimark, and it's uh, it's 9.55 and embellished. So it's in that same price point. I, I think it's a good look and really nice, clean look. Here's the blue version of it. We made a mistake, and they made a bigger mistake, is we wanted to get into business really with Trimark, and they were really aggressive. And they gave us um, uh, shirts that we did. The Merino is yeah. called, I think. Merino. 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 And it was terrible. And it was. Good. We no, it, it was, and but I think that they've improved it dramatically in this, and it's a better price point as well. So, um, yeah, it doesn't have a nice feel to it. And then here's this is a great for seven ninety five. This is a a, a a heathered. So again, keeping with the heathered look, you got a nice heathered polo. Does everybody know the difference between this collar and that kind of collar? <laughs> You know what they're called? Anybody? Anybody? This is a self collar. It's made out of the same fab self fabric. This is a woven collar. In golf right now, big time. But but you can see it's harder in the less expensive ones. Big time, all self collar. I mean, most of what you see out there is self, not. Not the Nike. What's that? Not Nike. Nike they probably have, does they more to the soft self to the woven to the back to the woven yeah. collar. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. So this is self and that's woven. Yeah. Self is the same. No, so that's, that's not, not self. self. This is self. That's self. The, the same, same fabric. Same material. Same, material. same self, self material. Would you kind of be able to tell the difference because one is probably uh, ribbed, like? Yeah, the ribbing on yeah. it is the woven, right? Yeah. Um, this is a great little piece. It's eleven ninety nine. It gives you a little bit, just a piping, a little accent. This is the sports tech piece. Do you this Heather in for polos for golf this year? Or? Heather's in everything. Yeah, yeah, actually, Travis Matthews has the Even like all the nicest. Anybody who's got a customer that can spend fifty bucks on a polo, Travis Matthews has the best Heather polo out there right now. So, the still the best selling product in our polo in our business is the Nike. And it's the price point polo. Um, I think it's like 17, 18 buck net. It's not any better quality than those, but it's got that little thing on it. And, and, and some customers right? will not do it. Will not, you know, my boss has to have a brand. This is part of, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about it, 
Team 365. Yes. Yeah. So you know the Core 365? Yeah. This is the athletic version, Team 365, yeah. have the great price points of Core 365. But there's other products like Swell Warm Up Tops. Um, I think, to be honest with you, I think the Adidas, Adidas, um, Polos are actually better than the Nike ones when they're available from uh, Alpha Broda. And then they've got a bunch of Polos. So, Steve, can you run over again the Good Better Best? Which brand do you like the good? Which brand do you like the better? Which brand yeah, do you like the I'll best? Yeah, I'll do that after she'll leave. Okay. <laughs> here's, a, here's a fun this is a fun athletic so you, I don't need to train you on this you you can go look and find it you can go in the catalogs and find it like I said we've pulled out some of the better pieces and price points um, you all know about Trimark they're going to be here talking about the different ways they can embellish as opposed to using the embroidery sometimes you know, on this, uh, the poly in particular, the performance fabric, uh, you know, if it's a big embroidery, it, it tends to pull, and so rather than have it pull, on transfer works well. I've been doing that a lot with them, the heat transfer, and my clients like really you like it. You can do multiple, more color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, there's, there's reasons for it. I mean, personally, I, would, I want embroidery. <laughs> But like on this shirt, look at the Adidas on the back, the logo, it's just yeah. that simple, it's easy. It would be, it'd be better than embroidery. It doesn't itch against you, yeah. embroidery can. So and on a lighter color, you know, like a white, you don't see the backing. Really yep, mm -hmm. yep, there's lots of reasons to use it, and it's way better than it used to be. You used to be able to see the outline of the transfer, and now you don't see any of that. You can put it in really weird off places, and, on different products. All right, any questions on the poll? And then Sheila's got something she needs to tell you desperately. <laughs> so uh, Team 365, is that part of the Core 365? So yeah, so I'll talk more about it when we show other products, but there's a whole, it's all like team wear, uh, shorts, sweat. But that's separate of Core 365. Team 365, they just use 365, both use 365. So it's not the same. No, it's the same. But it's the same, it's, it's not the same. Same company, but it's the same. Yeah, and the difference is it's team wear. Yeah, and the yeah. thing is, is all of everything coordinates. And all so, the like, colors. here's a nice warm-up jacket for 19 bucks, and it's but 19.99. And then you got shorts that match it, yeah. and bottom <clears throat> sweat pants that match it. Yeah. So if you got athletic teams, these guys have been the team. The core 365 really was worked. All they did is expanded into more team-looking. Yeah, I think it's really good. Yeah. So, what? Oh, yeah? Okay, go. So, just, I have to leave in a few minutes, sorry, guys. But, um, so the first thing was just I wanted to make sure everybody knew that, you know, when we launched this two years ago, we had plus sizes were all included um, at the same price. That went away about a year ago, and I just want to make sure everybody's aware of that, that that's not our positioning going forward. At the time, we were able to negotiate it, and now we. Not only that, we thought it was really important in the marketplace, what we've learned since is that a lot of our competitors were trying to do the same thing. Everyone's moved back away from that. And so your customer expects to pay for plus sizes. So we're taking advantage of that. Just you know, and you guys have all been selling it. You're almost always going to have enough charge once you get past the XL or the 2XL. So just know that if, if you remember that from the old days, it's no longer in place. Um, some of the things that are changing in the program are our current way we do things in terms of um, third-party decorators. You know, Rockland has been incredible. Obviously, everybody makes mistakes once in a while, but by and large, they've been a fantastic partner. They are solid for us on the east on the east coast. We're about to finalize decorators on the west coast. We're just going through some final negotiations there. In the central, we've had Stitch. There's been a lot of problems with them lately. I'm sure many of you have experienced them. We are looking for a replacement right now. So if anybody has somebody who they've used in the Midwest, I have a list of ones we're vetting. But if you have somebody who you think is phenomenal who can do both embroidery and screen printing, can't Apollo? Email. Isn't Apollo in the Midwest? No. They have a facility that can only embroider. Oh, so, so you need something that can screen print too. Yeah. So anyway, if anybody has someone, send it to me. But just know that that's kind of always a, it's always a potentially a moving target, right? Because we have to be with the right partner with the right price to keep everything consistent on the website. We're going to continue with that. We're not going to leave it high and dry without somebody in the Midwest. But um, this is kind of always evolving. So this sheet. This sheet is still the sheet to use, 
Um, we're actually, I just talked to a few people, a few salespeople about it. We're going to make some modifications to it because there's a couple things that could be less confusing and maybe some updates to some of the parts on the side. So, but right now all the pricing is going to be status quo and like it has in the past. Um, <coughs> keeping, trying to keep minimum flow, setups in line, that kind of thing. Um, the other thing is just thank Sherry or Lisa next time you see them. Sure. Because they have been working so hard on getting all these products out on the website, it's not easy. And the images, as as Nick noted, we're really reliant upon our suppliers to get good images. We try to require laydowns instead of on-figure shots, and that is a major hassle because so many of them don't have them. So we're actually going to be shooting some of our own photography um, to get the site to look more uniform and consistent and just look good. Um, but it's a lot of work, and so like I said, you're going to see all the SKUs on the core are live. But they may not have a lot of the images there right now. There may be some details we're still working out. So when you leave the session, everything that you saw here will be there, but it'll be better in a couple of weeks. Um, we will create a spreadsheet for you guys on the core, so you can reference that. And then just know that beyond the core items that he's talking about here, some of them were existing, some of them were new. But almost this entire rack over here is brand new, too. So there's a, a huge update to apparel. And then I was hoping you could just maybe talk about caps and caps. Oh, I was just going to, I was actually going to do that. No, I wanted you to, but I will. Um, it, it's funny because I actually was going to do that. I think we think a lot. So, like, where we were a year and a half ago. All right, there's, lots of, there's, a, bunch of, there's a bunch of new hats out there, so when we, Jill goes out, I'll tell her, explain them all to you. Now, what we decided to do with hats. Hats are a really important category. They are as important as the apparel. They're part of the apparel program. Once you can sell apparel, you can sell hats. I've been working with Cap America for 15 years with my business. They are the best. They are the easiest company to work with. Sid's now met them through EMEs and other things. We are moving all of our hats, for the most part, to the Cap America uh, offering. They offer an extensive line, like a book this thick, of in-stock hats, where they'll do as few as 36 pieces, and I'm sure for us they'll do even less. They'll do 48 pieces, free digitizing, up to 10,000 stitches, and most of their hats are under five, four or five dollars, with 10,000 stitches of embroidery. I have a bunch here, I can show you. But I want you to note the quality of the embroidery. You'll never, you'll never apologize for this. I mean, the, the, the stuff is just fabulous. And all these hats I'm give, showing to you are in stock. You can get a dozen pieces of it if you have, if you want. The and the other great thing, where they're actually these guys shine above and beyond anywhere else, is if you want to do like 144 pieces or more, they do it overseas. They have an incredible in-house design group that will design caps with 30,000 stitches. Whatever you want, they'll just come up with these completely custom down to everything, yeah. the inside of here, every, everything. You, these guys will come up with the most amazing artwork for you, for free. They just so can you expect put customers in there? Can you put, yeah, you yeah. put anything Actually, you want in, anything. Like Their in-house support is amazing. It's really, it's, you know, I, I hear the great things about Rockland, I've never worked with them, but they're kind of quality work. Yeah. Reps love we'll still, work. You guys, we'll still have the really inexpensive ones from Hit and Prime and Jetline on the site as options when you need them. But in terms of our go-to, we want Cap America to be that. Now, if you have a relationship, like Bert was saying, he has a relationship with Mega, or if you have a relationship with Headwear USA, you know, you can keep your relationship, work with whoever you want to, but just know the website's going to be geared toward Cap America. And, and what we sell in caps, we really sell the inexpensive printed one. Or just, here's the other thing about caps, you've got to understand caps too. Jetline, a hit, all those guys that are doing caps, they're doing it as an afterthought. You do not, it is so hard to embroider on a finished cap because you're going over a seam. That's all these people do. They don't reset it, they don't set up their machines or change their machines to do a cap. <clears throat> all they do is caps and they know how to print over, embroider over a seam. 
they, they, they're just experts at it. And the next category that I want everybody as part of the core to know is sweats. We do a lot of sweats. We basically there's three styles of basic sweats: 50, 50s, 80, 20s, whatever the blend is. Cotton, higher con cotton content. Same thing that's happened in t-shirts and polo shirts. The, the uh, Under Armour is really taken off with the, the polyester hoodies and things like that, and I'll talk about those at, as part of this conversation. But to simplify this, there's three, there's three shirts we need to look at. The basic crew, now with Heathers. This is Click, which is the um, promotional brand of Cutter and Buck. This sweatshirt is four dollars and six cents. It only they only transfer on it, but but their transfers look good. But it comes in thirty six colors. So we have these available. The limit with them, the problem with them is you have to go through their embellishment, which is transfer or embroidery. Our go to piece is the Gildan. Same. Categories, it's 35, 8.35, so like 32 cents, 30, 32 cents more. But it's like double needled down here. Doesn't have as many calls, only has 22. This is the sweatshirt we sell the most of as a company. And that's going to be our basic go to the boat. They're both going to be available, but this one you can do through your traditional. Uh, Rockland and whoever embellishment program makes so it's much easier. This is the, the crew, and then they also do a full set. <coughs> There's all kinds of neat, at neat other products like this one's pretty a little more athletic, mm -hmm. like the the uh, shoelace, yeah. the, the mesh. I don't I'm not sure the price on this one, but this is a Sport Tech. Um, this, now we've got a couple of the hockey ones, the laced front ones. But what's really gone crazy in this business is the polyesters. And the one we took for the go-to is the is the um, is the uh, dry mark one, which they do in a transfer on, but that transfer is really nice. It looks like a print. On the polys, I only recommend doing a couple, two, three colors max on it. It's nice and lightweight. It fits good. Some of these can tend to not have enough structure in the body and they can kind of look really bleh, floppy, but this is as close, I think, to the Under Armour as we could find, and it's under $20 cost printed. So with that, there's oops. there's all kinds of ones that have come out that are a little more fun in that same poly material, more athletic, and I think that this was also under twenty dollars. So the price point's great. So a little more of what taking what Under Armour has done, had some more fun with it. Again, sticking with that, a little more, I think, a little more mature, but the um, uh, same polyester, but in a nice heather with a quarter zip and the Devin and Jones piece. Um, I love this. this. is a full zip Sport Tech. There's so much out there now in this now. We'll have them all in the rack. But this is a great piece. This is $19 too. 100% polyester. 100% polyester. Um, this one, I, I don't know if you can actually see, but when you grab it, look at the back and how vented it is for running or for just a light top to throw over. Um, this is an Ogio, and I, I really like the way they did it. Um, and it's 19 and change too. So there's so many of these different weights, different poly versions. Here's a really, really nice lightweight one from Ultra Club. Just more of a throw. It's more. It's, it's almost turned into long sleeve hoodies and long sleeve quarter zips. That's poly. Yeah. 
You might have 5%. Sometimes they put 5% spandex in it. And then again, we talked about this before, but the Team 365 in this polyester as well. There's so much more. Explore it. Explore it. Feel it. You know, come and it's all here. The piece that I think is great, and I keep going back to this Core 365. Somebody's looking for a lightweight nylon jacket. This is 13. Ninety-five or thirteen, thirteen ninety-five. You can have it. I wear that like all day long. It's just a great piece, so, and your customer's gonna be thrilled for thirteen bucks. I'll do wovens quickly. There are so many wovens out there now; it's ridiculous. You can go from. A couple of the ones that I we put down as the basic core. Uh, this is the uh, five. So the, the click is the cutter and buck one. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the S six oh eight. Comes in twenty six colors. It's peached. It's heavy. It's nasty. But we sell it all. It's ten dollars and ninety cents. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, look at it. He doesn't even want to touch it. But, uh, but this one's 1049, and it only comes in six, but it's a lightweight poplin. I think it's a better piece. It's not going to look as wrinkled. I think it's just a little bit better. Go, go feel them. This is a good, more professional look. The Oxford, it's 1399, comes in a bunch of colors. You guys know, you know, like when we pick them up for you. This is our going to be our next shirt that we're going to require everybody to wear at the show. I love this. It's a chambray, the double pocket, nice white stitching, very light, comfortable, it's cool looking. I think it's thirteen bucks. I lied, fifteen bucks, fourteen ninety nine. Contemporary look. Chambray. We're getting that one. What's that? that you like that personally. No, no, he's saying that one. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. So here's the other thing I'm going to encourage you. Go to these racks, right? I'm going to actually get something. If Sheila was here, I, we could do it. So can you guys remind Sheila, yeah. and I had mentioned it in the first group, that I want you guys to go to the racks. Pick out some stuff for yourself. Pick out some stuff you'd wear that you think you, you would want to sell to your customers, build confidence in it, and we'll get it like dirt cheap if we have to be even pay for it. But you know, pick out a couple of polos, pick out some shirts, pick out like that chambray, so that you can talk to your customer. I own that shirt. I, you know, worst case, they're gonna give it to us at a super discount. If not, we're gonna get some free. And just, just wear the stuff, live it, wear it. Be like Scott, don't have any, there's no other wardrobe left. He <laughs> doesn't have his com customer's logo or some kind of drama logo on it. He's not wearing it. <laughs> That's so true. Walking <laughs> overrun, over right here. The king of the overrun. <laughs> This is actually not a bad piece, but that kind of basic uh, landmark, which is, uh, which is the less expensive. But you got everything from Van U's in. So you have this in my plan. Yeah, this isn't bad. This landmark is not expensive. You don't need to know anything in this other than the ones you like and the ones you want to sell to your customer. Really. I can tell you everything about it from a construction standpoint. There's not much of a difference in any. It does seem comfortable. Is landmark trimark? So again, explore the rack, get some samples. I think it's landmark. Landmark. Which one? Landmark. Landmark. No, sorry. Landmark is um, trimark. Yeah, it is yeah, landmark is trimark. <laughs> <laughs> this is a brilliant thing. Exactly. It's just the mark. Trimark. 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 You can get anything you want in this. Stuff, decent stuff. To stuff you might wear and stuff you'd never wear. But believe it or not, the one that we all made fun of in the beginning is still going to be the best seller at 10.99. A whole bunch of colors. If you're doing a trade show. 
I've taken it off. <laughs> <laughs> no, but. The